Okay, so right here we inside the view using as example. Okay, I'm just going to see where do I want to place my camera for now. Right here we can go take down. Let me believe it up so we can preview. Again, this is just a test to see or actually example to showing how we can apply maps. Okay, let's go with preset, render to screen. Okay. And right here, very fast preview. So you can see we have it. Some very rough basic materials does not look very good because we not yet working on a setting up a lot of stuff. So and I'm going kind of add proper lighting so we can see. Okay. Because it's done in an object parametric with height, height is not necessarily defined properly in this. I can look overall and tell it's about 167 meters, probably should be higher than that. But for the just test purpose should work fine. Okay, right here we have our first um, map and one thing about this when you work with Vu Cinema or other ones, be sure when using the image map, you set this as an object parametric or specifically the terrain or this map will apply to the object and other things also to get notice because you see when we save image images flat not 3d so when we start applying to the walls so right here it gets stretching quite a bit on the sides so let's do this way we'll go switch to the map it picture and let's go ahead and open picture from what we save okay and notice right here main color again this is just a basic color applied to this okay we have it parametric automatic all applied so let's preview and you can see we have it very very basic applied to this okay let's go click ok okay next what i want to do is start adding layers to this so in the next layer we're going to add Okay, let's uh, schedule this one and we'll switch again to map it picture in this case and we'll go to uh, load it okay and preload we have a low color map so that one will be my first I'm going to click OK it says you like use transparency so yes I do like to use transparency and be sure we set to object parametric and that is should apply directly on the bottom. So we'll take our camera, we'll look down below. We should see this map right here. See where it's applied. So this is what we wanted. Okay, we have another one. So we can go to create a new layer. And usually you can go and just rename layers properly and not just all the new layer. Okay. Again, this is a workflow maybe a little bit different from different applications you're using. But again, for the test to just showing how it's work, uh, this one should work just fine. Okay, we have it low. M1. Okay, we'll also switch to object parametric. And we don't have any beep map for this. Highlights, we can pop up if you need it. But right here, you can see how it start applying. And I don't think that shall apply the colors will look very good on uh, highlights. So let's go apply another one. Okay, image map it. And we this one will be M2. Okay, let's go click OK. Yes, for the transparency. You can use STFF, which is say transparency, or you can use it as PNG will as well. We'll have some transparency applied to this. Okay, let's go to create a new one. OK, 
Okay, we'll again create another one. And this is all image based, so. Okay, yes, for transparency. Object parametric. Okay. Three. And we'll create another one. Okay, right here, color, map it picture. So let's go ahead and preload it. Okay, we have three. We have it now um high color. So let's go click apply this one. Okay, we'll have this one world. Uh, let's switch to object parametric on this one. And you notice alpha boost zero, so we kind of overlay because I don't with alpha it's kind of will look better. And you can see right here we had way more nicer now colors more applied to effect we wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead next. Um, you remember we also created flow in other effect to this. So let's go ahead and preview what we have with flow. So right here, I'll just create a simple new materials. Okay, and with the flow, if we just go to map it pictures as example, you can see right here, high flow, it's actually black and white because we save this as a um, alpha transparency. So I don't save any colors for this. And the reason so we can reuse right now, I can show you how you can do it with other applications. So for example, if we um, right here, example, using some um, different applications, you can always switch to um, procedural colors as example. Okay, and let's go just use it rock for this one. And with this, I can do apply different type of the effect. And that's actually what I'm doing right here. So I'm just creating different texturing and a transparency. It's what most important for me, because if I go inside the transparency and right at this moment, we can add it all additional. So we got a texture map project, projected, projected. So we click in. Okay, let's preload it. At this point, we can select low flow, for example. Okay, but remember same things. We want set interpolations and we also afterwards we want to use this as the object parametric as well. Okay, and right here we have our transparency. So we'll just connect it. Okay, and let's look okay. Automatic is fine. Okay, let's click OK and switch this to the object parametric. So at this point, it will apply this color to our veins, except, okay, let's go transparency. And uh, some, like right here, we actually do need inverse that for the alpha. Okay, let's go preview. So, and right here on the bottom, we will have it apply those. We can do the same for the top one in a second. Okay. All right here. And in some cases, we can always just, you know, Modify, copy this if you want to do faster or otherwise. Uh, the one thing I notice also I have with some rocks. So let me do this one. Great new and map it picture. Right here, I forgot about um, our rocks that we had. Okay, use the alpha map for this, yes. Object parametric as well. rocks okay so i'm for now i won't put it any 
low on the top because I want to go actually put my camera just a little bit lower and preview see what we have it so far if any problems will we can see will happen okay let's render okay and you can see we have problem how I said before because image was straightforward it have some problems with rendering to from with the stretching and that's always will happen um, in this case you want to use parametric or other ones type of the texture so they kind of kind of compensating for the stretching a little bit okay let's go bring a little bit more lower maybe around right here take our sunlight Add a little bit more shadow, just a um, couple touch ups so we can have a nice render kind of preview on the mountains. Okay, I'm going to adjust a few modifications to overall our scenery so we can have it at distance a little bit. To our view, okay, a little bit haze. Okay, we can also add a few clouds to the horizon. Okay, let's add details. Add a little bit softness. Okay, so I'm just slightly modifying presets so when we render it will look a little bit nicer on this. Okay, we'll also take sun. And for the sun, I just want to add a little bit softer shadows to work very well with uh, our settings. Okay, a little bit add up on uh, sunlight. Okay, I think that has look already good. Okay, let me be sure we don't want any of the exposure for our camera. Okay, I think we're ready. So let me go ahead, um, render this preview so we can see what we have it so far with all this maps applied. Well, what I did is just gone inside the lighting and add a few lightings inside the view. Yes, all right, here we done preset. I'm going to do take camera, move a little bit above. We probably have some pixelization on our texture and terrain. And I think the reason is why, because I did create a little bit lower resolution. So that should be okay. But at least we can go ahead and render preview, see what we have it so far with our terrain. Okay, also let's go to atmosphere. I'm gonna take these clouds and just maybe pop up them way higher. So, okay, I mean, you know what? Maybe even disable list for this type of the render. So we can preview. How I say we do probably will see some pixels because if it's 2040 by so you want increased resolution a little bit higher when you do with color mapping on this case but it should be give it as good um, preview what we have so far so I'm going to render pause this tutorial and come back when the render is complete okay so render right here it's done you can see we do I see definitely pixelizations in some cases and it's due to the resolution overall but it's have a very beautiful nice shapes and you can see with colors that we applied so we can control it um what we can apply and like right here this is a black spot it's obviously coming from um some alpha on this rock so if we can take some down and we can probably even make way better on the if we're going down and reduce alpha, so we'll blend these guys. 
a little bit closer. Okay, so on this case, we'll have it way less pixelizations coming. So kind of smooth out a little bit more to working with texture. Right here, you can see it's already way better to working this way. But here's an example. So we created terrain. We work with the steps, applied some distortions, um, applied um, flow kind of different type erosions as well as different type of steps which is create a very unique interesting way and i hope you did enjoy this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com